Disney is a force to be reckoned with. They made nearly $70 billion in 2019, and there are very few companies who can rival their spot in the entertainment industry. And with these numbers, it's obvious that they know how to sell products and market movies, though every once in a while they disappoint fans of specific franchises. But today I wanted to discuss what goes on behind the scenes at Disney, and what employees and animators have to deal with. Janet Chan, who is on screen, is a woman who worked for Disney as an animator for about four years, and I really wanted to discuss her views from behind the scenes because we discuss Disney quite a bit. We discuss Bob Iger, Michael Eisner, Kathleen Kennedy, which she does work for Lucasfilms, but Lucasfilms is owned by Disney, so she does answer to people like Bob Iger, and I think that this is a very unique viewpoint that we aren't able to see often. And so, a former Disney storyboard artist explains why she quit the industry in disgust. Until a few weeks ago, Janet Chan was doing what had once been her dream job. Having entered the Hollywood animation world for four years with big dreams of creative fulfillment, she worked her way up to become a Disney television animation storyboard revisionist. Along the way, her hopes turned to disillusionment with the nature of the industry. When she was offered a promotion, she quit her career instead. She explains why in a 10-minute YouTube video, which this article and the video will be linked down below in the pinned comment, but it does boil down to a few number of points. The executives have poor creative judgment. I was on a preschool show where we were given this note. You are no longer allowed to draw angry eyebrows. The executive said, it's because we don't want to teach children being angry is okay. Aren't preschool shows supposed to be te about teaching children how the world works? This is absolutely ridiculous. They won't let... The animators draw angry eyebrows because they don't want to teach children being angry is okay. She is 100% correct. Shows are supposed to teach children how the world works, how to show your emotions properly, how to handle being upset and angry and showing situations and depicting situations that they may be in in the future. And we see how much Disney limits writers. And now we're getting a taste of how much they limit animators. Animators. Even though Kathleen Kennedy does not work directly under Disney, she of course is the president of Lucasfilms, which is owned by Disney, so she does answer to people like Bob Iger. And we have to look at the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series for Disney+. Plus. Apparently she and some of the executives at Disney did not like the script, so they are making the writers entirely change it and entirely rewrite it. This proves that these executives truly do not care about creating of freedom, they only care about what they believe will make them the most money. Networking is king. It's not about how good you are, it's about who you know. In order to keep climbing that corporate ladder, it's more beneficial for you to form alliances or cliques rather than be good at your job. This is ridiculous. It should not be this way, and a lot of industries are this way. If you know someone, you are going to skyrocket to the top of the ladder, and if you don't, you are going to fall flat. Toxic behavior is rife. Oftentimes, people are only kind to you if you're of value to them. So if you're on the lower rung of the totem pole, you're treated like dirt. She, of course, does not name anyone. But again, not very surprising. The working environment is dull and bureaucratic. At the end of the day, it is a Monday 9 to 5 office job where I sit in my cubicle all day at my computer or I have meetings about meetings. Now, you do have to take this with some consideration. Of course, she is working for a billion dollar company. Yes, you are going to have to do things and work a normal 9 to 5 job and sit in an office and do paperwork and look at kind of going forward with future projects. 
projects. Um, but it truly does sound like she just wanted some creative freedom. She wanted to be able to create and use her skills, and it just doesn't sound like they really wanted to. Of course, this could be because of her role, because of the job position that she has, um, but when you are being hired as an animator, you expect more. And she is saying that she walked into this job expecting more, and she definitely did not get what she expected. Um, I am sure that even though these four years weren't great for her, she did gain, of course, resources out of it. She met people in the industry. She was able to build those business relationships, and I'm sure that she did walk out with some form of, of knowledge, and it did further her career. It is great to hear that she was able to open and run her own design and illustration business. That is all that I had to discuss today. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments section down below. How do you feel about her statements and about her reasonings as to why she quit Disney and why she left that that side of the industry, the corporate side of the industry. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. And of course, if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.